Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Osman Ali and I'm recording the video for uh, the numericals on the depreciation actually. So you do have a basic understanding of depreciation from uh, the previous semesters or subjects that you have studied. Let's go through it and let's revive it in our mind. So we have this numerical of a uh, company, uh, Robert Birish Com Corporation. They have purchased a new machine for its assembly process. The purchase date is 1st of January 2007 and the cost of this machine is one lakh and seventeen thousand dollars so that's kind of an important thing for our numerical cost of asset the company estimates that the machine will have a salvage value of twelve thousand and nine hundred so after using it uh, still the machine would have a worth of twelve thousand and nine hundred salvage value excuse me at the end of its service it, its life is estimated to be five years so that's the estimated useful life and if we talk about the working hours, so it is expected that the machine will work for 1,000 hours actually. Now the year ends at December 31st, which means that our, our fiscal year last date is the 31st December of each year. And we are required to do the depreciation calculation based on all these five methods, actually the straight line method, activity method, sum of year method, uh, double declining method, and the maker's method or maker's method. So let's do it one by one. I will record separate video for each method actually. So let's uh, go with the straight line method this time. Now, in the straight line method, uh, we assume that uh, everything would remain same actually. Uh, means that whatever the depreciation expense that has occurred, so it's gonna be same for all the years. That's why it's called straight because it does not change. So the day, which is 31st, sorry, 1st of January, when we purchased that machine, so it costed us $117,900 actually. And then the first year will finish by 31st December. So the, at the end of the first year, we are actually supposed to calculate the depreciation expense. Now the depreciation expense, according to the straight line method, is cost of asset minus the salvage value divided by the useful life. So we have a cost of asset of $117,900. You saw it here. We had a salvage value of 12900 and our useful life in years is uh, five years actually. So we got it here. The cost of asset minus the salvage value and divided by the life. When you divide it, we get a net value of $21,000, which means that for at the end of the first year, our depreciation uh, expense annually would be $21,000. Then, accumulated depreciation is the total amount of depreciation that has occurred till today. So, today is the first year, end, end of first year, which means that in total, $21,000 depreciation has actually occurred. Then, uh, we would subtract this 20 sorry we would subtract this $21,000 from this 1,17,900 when we subtract it we get a remaining book value of 96,900 so at the end of the first year our remaining book value of that uh, machine is 96,900 instead of 117,900 then uh, in the second year, our calculation would remain same as above, means this calculation. Our depreciation expense will also remain same, 21,000. Now, this time, our accumulated depreciation will be 21,000 of this year, and the accumulated depreciation till the last year, till the previous year. So, 41,000 plus 41,000 will give us a total value of 42,000. And what will be our remaining value at the end of the second year? 21,000 minus, uh, sorry, 96,900 minus this 21,000. So, we get a value of 75,900 here. Then, uh, our third year end calculation will also remain same, same as above, because that's the rule in the straight line method that whatever the depreciation has occurred in the first year, it will remain constant and same, which means that our depreciation of 21,000 will continue. Now, this time our accumulated depreciation would be 21,000 plus 42,000. So the total accumulated depreciation this year would be 63,000. 
and 75,900 minus 21,000 will give us a remaining value or a net value of 54,900. Likewise, for the fourth year, our depreciation remains same, and for the fifth year, also the calculation or the computation remains same, which means our depreciation expense will continue to be 21,000. So at the end of the fourth year, my accumulated depreciation will be 21,000 plus 63,000, which gives me a total of $84,000. And this time, my net value would be 54,900 minus 21,000. So my net value would be 33,900. Likewise, as you know, our depreciation expense on annual basis for the end of the fifth year or for the fifth year is 21,000. So I will add this 21,000 with 84,000, and I will get a, a total value of 1 lakh and 5,000. Whereas I'm going to subtract this 21,000 from 33,900. So we will get a remaining value of 12,900 which by the way if you remember ladies and gentlemen was actually our salvage value so this is how we calculate the straight line method uh, it's kind of a method which is very useful for uh, the company self accounting uh, a depreciation method very common and very easy as well thank you very much ladies and gentlemen stay safe